this is the ventilator as you see of course you see different kind of ventilators but at the end the basic anatomy of the ventilator the same you always have the screen here they give you information and usually information again it could be different from ventilator ventilator give you patient information give you the waveform this is the pressure in the circuit uh, the ventilator circuit the flow it's the v mean the volume but actually this is the flow because you have the f volume here versus time that's the flow and uh, the pressure usually is centimeter hto we use the flow is liter per minute and here you have the ventilator settings here you have the mode and of course uh, could be different but you have to from ventilator to ventilator but always you will have this information somewhere on the ventilator also you see here the humidifier and the temperature here as well the circuits of the ventilator, that's what I want. You see, there is a blue tube and there is a white tube here. So one of them, I think the blue is inspiratory limb where the air exit from the vent goes to the patient. And the, the white one is the expiratory limb where the air goes back and then they meet here which is not in the picture to form one tube so both limbs will meet like this eventually form one tube and this tube will meet the endotracheal tube and then this endotracheal tube will go inside the trachea one thing i want you to know that the air usually flow into the inspiratory limb and then back into the expiratory limb. If there is no airflow into the patient between inspiration or expiration, the both limbs, as I said, the air will flow right like this. Let me pick another one. The air will be flowing through the ventilator to the inspiratory back to the expiratory at the same rate because there is no flow into the patient. So if there is air flowing at 10 liter per minute here, it will flow back at 10 liter per minute, back into the ventilator, the same thing, until there is a flow into the patient, where then some of this, let's say, go here, and um, let's say five here. So here we'll have then five liter per minute. So that's basically the ventilator anatomy a screen here a humidifier we talked about the information and then inspiratory limb expiratory limb and of course the ventilator has um buttons here we actually these buttons the way they look may be different from ventilator to ventilator but then there is basic function the ventilator has and once you know these basics any ventilator you see you will figure out uh, these buttons and where to get this information how to set things up pretty quickly